All right, so today we're working on a 2000, I mean a 97 Buick Regal. We'll be changing out the coolant elbow, which sits, it's right in here. First, we're gonna take this belt off, which is a 15 millimeter right there. Take the belt off. We're gonna move this bar right here, which is a 13 there and there. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna get right back with you guys. All right, so we got, um, we got the bar off and the belt off. Now we need to start taking off this alternator, which is, I believe a 13 millimeter bolt here. And I think there's another one somewhere, I think right there. So we're gonna take those off. Make sure you uh, undo your battery because this is where um, it'll spark at you. We're gonna take that 13 millimeter bolt off and then this connection and then uh, this alternator will come off. All right, so we weren't able to get the wire off the alternator, but we uh, just undid the bolts and moved it onto the side. Now what I believe that we need to do is remove these two um, hoses. There's a bolt here and a bolt here. These look to be about eight. So we're gonna get those off, remove both clamps, take them out, and I will get right back with you guys. Okay, so we got the two bolts that hold these hoses on and we got the clamps back, but I honestly don't think we need to take them off. So there's two main bolts that's holding this on. There's one there and then there's one back here. So we're gonna take those off and see if we can get this to pop off and uh, we'll be right back. So right now we're just taking off the main bolts that's holding the whole assembly on. As you see, it's kind of tricky back there. We already got one off. Right there, so we're gonna see. So I think we're good now. I think we just need to like kind of manhandle it off. I'm gonna see if there's another bolt, but I think from here it's pretty much we can get off. So let me see if there's any additional steps, and I'll get right back with you guys. Okay, so with a little bit of prying and a uh, muscle we were able to get this off as you see we didn't need to take those two hoses off so here is the elbow we're replacing you know it doesn't really look too bad but wait that might be the piece that broke in there right there that black shit. so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and put this back on and uh i'm gonna show you guys the end result it's recording all right, so you see that piece in there? Always check because that's where it broke off. So we're gonna take that out. We're gonna clean up the surfaces. This is where his crack was overheating his car. If you can see it right there, here is the new one. The new one kind of looks way better than metal. So we're gonna stick it in there and put it in the hole. Um, there's two elbows, which we're still trying to find. I'm not too sure where they are, but we're gonna just get, keep looking and just replace this one. So. Remember, you don't have to take them two hoses off unless you're replacing this whole assembly. But that's basically what you guys do. Hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. All right, so we're just, I'm just gonna show a little bit of the installing process. It is kind of tricky getting it to fit with both sides, like in the, in the bracket and in the engine. But you see, we're just hammering it softly. It's probably, it's probably good. bottomed out. So we're just gonna put all these bolts back, make sure you put your clamps, and uh, I'll show you guys some of the process of that.